The Liberal government has just three days more in the legislature before the end of the session and potentially the end of its reign in British Columbia. When MLAs come back in the fall, there will be a new government in place, and many of the people who helped to put the Liberals into power last time will not be there to bolster their fortunes this May. One of those people gave the Premier a new headache today. CTV Stephen Andrew reports. If Premier Clark is looking for a break from criticism, today isn't the day. And this time it's not the NDP attacking Christy Clark. The comments are coming from within the Liberal caucus. Former Finance Minister Kevin Falcon telling the Globe and Mail the Premier overstepped her bounds when she announced the tallest wooden building in the world would be built in Prince George. The Wood Innovation and Design Center was meant to be a massive showcase. But, you know, um, the projects, everybody knows that government's ability to pay for things isn't unlimited. But Falcon says the project was scaled back because Clark should not have made the promise in the first place because the province didn't have the money to pay for it. Now the former finance minister's words are being used to ridicule the project. In terms of its fiscal management, has been found wanting, not by me, but by Mr. Falcon. That's, that's what, that's what uh, happened today, one, that there are serious issues about the way this procurement process took place and of course uh, this major project that the government uh, spoke of at length in the House today hasn't actually happened. Falcon, who is not seeking re-election, was absent from the legislature today, leaving the Premier struggling to answer questions as to why he is criticizing her. I mean, I, I, I don't know what motivates uh, anybody's comments. The Liberals are clearly upset with those MLAs who have chosen not to run again, speaking out and making life difficult for the party. And they're looking forward to the beginning of the election campaign when they'll have a new slate of candidates. And as they say, a day can be a lifetime in politics, and there's three more days left in the sitting of the legislature. And those MLAs who are seeking re-election are hoping that between now and then, there will be no more in their ranks speaking out and no more leaks. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Victoria.